install this video card in place of the GTX 1650 that was originally in this thing. Two expansion slots. It has three video outputs, a DVI output, an HDMI. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? This is Carl the Great of Amazing Wizard Studios. Welcome to the HP NV TE01 August 2022 update. I did a couple of things since the intro of this desktop. First off, I upgraded the video card and second, it now has dual channel RAM. I'll show you how it looks like from the inside. Yup, here's how the desktop looks like from the inside. First off, I installed this video card in place of the GTX 1650 that was originally in this thing. The video card we got here is an Asus GeForce GTX 1660 Super Overclock Phoenix Fan Edition. And yup, I still have my Elgato Game Cafe 6 Pro up here. Now, when I did install this video card, I plugged in this PCIe 8 pin connector. In this case, it's a 6 plus 2 pin that's labeled as P4, but it's actually a PCIe connector, which I was, which can be sort of tricky, which I was able to distinguish that because of one part having 6 pins and that can be controlled by 2 more pins for 8 pins. And now when I did, get this bracket back on, it was tight because like it, it wouldn't snap on easily once the video card snapped, probably because of this PCI connector being ripped. So I had to push this thing down while putting the screw on over here. Also, I did my research to see if the video card would work in here, and it does with no problem. The second thing I want to talk to you about is the RAM. When I got this desktop more than a year ago now, it came with 16 gigs of RAM, but the problem was it was only single channel, and I knew dual channel RAM is going to offer better performance, so I got a 16 gig kit of dual channel RAM by team group and it's installed now occupies these two RAM slots. Now here's how the desktop looks like at the back now. Over here we still have the Elgato HC60 Pro and down here is the video card. Like in this case it, it takes up two expansion slots and has three video outputs, a DVI output, an HDMI output, and a display port. In this case, I, I use the HDMI output, so the HDMI cover is removed. And it's now used on my Dell Inspiron 368. You also see like the vents here. I also tried doing something different and it's overclocking the video card for better performance. Anyway, I'm glad this will stop performance improved. Like when I used to play BMNG Drive, it would struggle sort of at ultra settings, but now it, it does better, it doesn't struggle as much. I'm glad I improved the performance. Yup, that's about it for the HP NV TE01 August 2022 update. Don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and comment future content. Also, don't forget to follow Amazing Wizards on social media. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when we post new videos. This is Carl the Great of Amazing Wizards signing out. Peace.